Cardano is testing a crucial support level and if that sounds interesting you make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pinga Charts here. Welcome back to another Cardano analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. As you guys can see on Cardano yesterday, we had a beautiful test of the 30 cent support level and a nice bullish engulfing candle breaking above these exponential moving averages. In yesterday's video, I mentioned it's going to be very, very crucial for the bulls to actually maintain this level and possibly looking for a retest around that 39 cent to 41 cent if we get that confirmation. You can see that we actually actually failed to break above that level we saw multiple candlesticks hitting in between these exponential moving averages and are now currently seeing a rejection with a clean bearish engulfing candle breaking below there are two th scenarios here of course number one of the fact is that if we do get a break of this support level here created on the 34 cents we definitely will be retesting at least the lows of 30 cents the reason why is because you can see that are on that 30 cent level right now we do have somewhat of a formation being formed so we can be looking for that bottom of that trade and tra for the traders to actually take those profits number two scenario of course is the fact that if this is a fake out because we have to keep in mind that it is now officially the weekend tomorrow so there's going to be a huge lack of liquidity usually on weekends we tend to see more volatility and we tend to see more green candles lately so i would be expecting a possible fake out situation like this and then a continuation hitting around that 41 cent of course this would become invalidated if we actually do create a new lower low and actually break below this 30 cents things are going to become extremely risky for the bullish case scenario for cardano the next level of course is my overall level here at 28 cents which does act as a very strong support level for cardano overall but we know that this 30 cent level is a very extreme level for cardano the reason why is of course as you guys can see that previously speaking we had this nice little level here drawn at the 34 cents for some reason it was deleted but right now we are testing that crucial support level again you can see that we haven't quite broken it we did get a few wicks to the downside but there's still no clear confirmation of that break ideally what we want to see on cardano is a break of that support retest as resistance and then that continuation as long as we can maintain above that level we still have somewhat of a bullish case scenario but things are obviously starting to look worse because you guys already know from my previous videos the more times a support level is tested the higher chances of it breaking you can see right now we do have these exponential moving averages also acting as resistance which is why I'm leaning towards a more bearish case scenario for Cardano overall. On the hourly time frames, you can see that we are seeing that pattern being tested. We do have three test confirmation right now. So I'm going to be curious to see whether or not on the hourly we can actually have a nice bullish momentum candle and start to hold above those exponential moving averages. We have to be careful because if you guys look from previously, we have tested this level on the way to the downside. And this is a perfect example of how previous price analysis plays out. Number one, you can see that the exponential moving averages when we were testing around this level, we had the same sort of formation where we actually started to break below those levels. And we had the fact that the exponentials were using as resistance. Then we saw that break right over here. Right now, we're seeing the same sort of formation and pattern play out on Cardano. We are breaking below the exponential moving averages and retesting the support and pushing further and further down. So this is why I'm looking for for this overall level of 30 cents to be tested guys some of you guys have asked me my extreme case for cardano and my extreme case is at 28 cents because if you look on the daily time frames we really don't have much support after that of course if we're talking like a worst case scenario analysis then cardano can possibly go down all the way to 13 cents on the lows because of the fact on the daily time frames you can see that 13 cent level acted as a very good support level and a very strong resistance level for cardano overall so that would be my extreme case at 13 cents of course we don't necessarily know whether or not that will happen ideally what i'm trying to play on cardano with this 28 cent support level is the fact that if you guys look on the daily time frame over here we actually had multiple tests of this level before we finally had that confirmation above we did have this nice wick to the downside so we could be expecting the same sort of wick to around that 23 cents in the extreme case that we do have capitulation but we have to be very very careful ideally what we don't want to see on cardano is if we do break that 28 cents we don't want to see that trade actually use as resistance because guys things are going to to become really bad for cardano bulls right or anyone that's really holding ada you have to be prepared for the worst case scenario and right now my worst case scenario within the next few months as the rates we're going at could definitely be around that 13 cents which is why i keep mentioning that it's not a good idea to be dcaing in altcoins because altcoins tend to lose 60 to 70 percent of their value when we do see capitulation it's better to maybe stay in stables or look for, towards bitcoin if you are going to dca because even during a bull run you tend to see bitcoin go up 
first before you tend to see the altcoins. You do have opportunities to obviously enter the altcoin position markets regardless. So which is why I suggest that you guys definitely look into that. But of course, this really depends on you guys. It's not financial advice. It's just my opinion because this technically would become my third bear market. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. And I hope you guys have. Oh, 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 oh,